Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I have at least something I think is exciting. Um, I'm going to try the new Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting <laughs> Foundation. So this is the packaging. This just released, well, is it already old news in the makeup community? I don't know, but I have time to <laughs> now to film i think i got this like early because it was a like app exclusive early access from like if you're a rouge member or whatever so it's been sitting here for a couple days so i'm finally going to be trying it out i did open the box to look at the packaging because this foundation is 81 dollars canadian which I think this is the most expensive foundation I've ever purchased, so I'm really hoping that I like it. I will say that um, this does feel quite luxe. Um, it has like the reflective, well, you know, the, it gets dirty as soon as you touch it, but that packaging that is the same as like his, um, his eyeshadow palettes and his face palettes. and. I thought this was going to be a sticker, like the logo that says Patrick Ta with the name of the foundation, but this is actually like a metal plaque on here, so that's really nice. At least it feels like metal, I don't know if it's actually metal. And this is very heavy, so I got the shade 6 Neutral, and I wasn't sure about it. I but now that I'm seeing it in person, I actually think it's going to be a good match. Was it this one that I was, when I was looking on the app, I thought it was going to be too deep. But now that I'm seeing it, it actually looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm just going to try this on right now. Usually, if you guys have seen my other videos, I read all about it and I don't have time <laughs> for that today. So what I thought I would do is just put it on my face have like a first impression and then I'll actually like go outside of my house <laughs> with this on and do like a wear test later on and like come back with more information because this is so I think it's expensive um, I'm assuming people would want to see more details before making a purchase so I'm just gonna go right in if you're new here I have dry skin yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just dry. I have like a dry patch right here right now. And I did put a primer on already that I know that I like so that it doesn't like affect anything just for reference. It's the Ciate Watermelon Burst right here from my shop, my stash that I have to redo. Well, refresh. Um, the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I know I like this, so I figure it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's just go right into it. It is a pump, so I'm using a stampin' sponge. And one pump just gave me that, so I did like another half pump, I'd say. It looks pretty liquidy already. Yeah, quite liquidy, actually. Um... I haven't seen, well, I've seen thumbnails. <laughs> I haven't actually watched any videos about this, but I saw Julia, um, what's her name? Oh my God, I'm blanking. I love her. Julia, something, Julia Adams, sorry. Anyway, um, her thumbnail was hilarious because she looked like she had like, I don't know, grease on her skin but I do know that I well I think I'm like 70% sure she has like a combo right or like oily skin I think I don't know I'll have to watch that but I didn't want to like get you know sometimes if you watch a video you go into something with like a bias and I didn't want that so <laughs> I didn't watch the video yet, but I did see the thumbnail. So, so far, I mean, um, what can I say already? I, I like it. Um, 
I don't know if, what type of coverage this is supposed to be giving me. It says, enhance your natural radiance with this luminous medium coverage foundation. Okay, lightweight, hydrating, and infused with three types of hyaluronic acid, plus squalane and fermented kombucha. Oh, I didn't know any of this. <laughs> this formula blends seamlessly and blurs imperfections for a glowy skin-like finish. I will say I do see, um, when I look in my mirror, I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but it is a, giving me like a glowy finish. Maybe you could see that. And I do have hydrating primer on, so I do, I think I do like this so far because um, I would even say if you use this with a sponge, it's more, it's more like a light to medium coverage. Um, and I did use like one and a half pumps, so I do still see like my freckles and some redness coming through, but that's fine. I do not like um, full coverage foundations anyway. I'm more of like a skin tint type person usually, but I did feel like the name of this foundation just really sucked me in. As soon as I saw Hydra, I was like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, first impression, uh, I think the shade matches perfect. Um, I always go for the neutral undertone for me personally because I do have a strong neutral undertone. Whenever I get something that's a cool tone, it looks pink on me, and when I get a warm, it's like orange. So. I am strictly <laughs> neutral, so I'm glad this is actually neutral undertone, and I think I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I will do the rest of my makeup off camera, and I'll come back to tell you what else I wore, and actually before I go, I should zoom in. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. I like that I see this dewiness. Hopefully it doesn't turn into like oily, you know what I mean? So um, Yeah, I will come back and this is natural lighting. I mean, I do have a my mirror in front of me that has a, a light but the window is right here, so You could see like this blemish here with my dry patch You could still see my freckles um I will say it does feel like, mm, I don't know, not, I mean, does it kind of feel tacky in a sense? Like, can you hear? But that could also be the primer. So I don't know, we'll see how it wears, but that's my first impression. So far, I am liking this. So I'll be back later to tell you how it wore. Okay guys, I am back. Um, it's only been six hours. It's 5.47. I, I forgot to tell you what time it was when I finished putting it on. It was about 11.45, so that's why I'm saying six hours. Um, I'm just worried if I don't film this now, the lighting, like the sun will start going down and then you won't see what I'm talking about anyway, so that's why I'm only doing six hours, but I, I'm i at the point where I don't feel like this is going to look any different anyway, so I thought I would just do my check-in. So um, this is what it's looking like. I feel like on camera and in person from like a bit of a distance, <laughs> it looks fine. Um, it is very luminous. I think if you have oily skin or combination skin, you're probably not going to like this one unless you like looking very dewy, um, that kind of thing. Because um, I have very dry skin, like it's extremely dry. Well, it's not extremely dry, but it's just never not dry. So... Um, 
And I did wear a hydrating primer under this, the Ciate Watermelon Burst. Um, and a like glowy setting spray on top, the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. And this is what it's looking like. So I, I like it though. Um, I do, I would say, so if I look up close, um, it's actually, it's not that it's creasing, which is good, but it's doing that thing where it's kind of almost like highlighting my pores. Um, I didn't put any powder on because I wanted to see if that's what it was. Like, normally I do put powder here and here, which is where, like, it bothers me to see my pores, but I didn't do it today because I wanted to really wear the foundation. But I will say, like, if I look really closely, like this close, I can see my pores more visibly than if I didn't wear the foundation. So because of that, I feel like I don't really agree with the fact that they said this was blurring. What did they say again? They said this formula blends seamlessly and blurs imperfections for a glowy skin-like finish. It is a glowy skin-like finish, but I don't think it blurs imperfections. So that's my only critique of this. But other than that, I'm happy to say that it's working for me, at least for somebody with dry skin <laughs> and considering I put all these other things on top um, and it's not like coming off or anything or like sometimes like this formula will kind of break up on the face but I don't see that so I'm happy with this one which is good because like I said it was $81. I know part of that is that it's Patrick Ta. Um, he does price his products more on the higher end, which is fine. It's um, his choice and I do like a lot of his products. So I guess that's all I have to say really. I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, it's not, I don't have like an in-depth um, review for you. I just feel like it's just that one thing where it said blurs and perfections that I don't agree with and maybe if it hadn't said that I would rate this like even higher because I do rate products based on what they say they do I feel like if you say you do something you should do that so that's the one thing I don't agree with but anyway I will leave it there yeah so I will continue to use this one and if you guys have tried this and you have a different skin type let us know in the comment section because of course my review is really based on my own skin type which is dry and more <laughs> on the mature side maybe so yeah i hope you liked this video and found it helpful if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye